Hi there. This is Anoop. Today we are going to talk about issue that got highlighted in all the communities related to Windows 10 June patch KB5027215. That patch is causing some confusion among end users. When end users restart the computer after the installation of this particular patch, after logging back to Windows, they will get a UB style screen and in that screen they need to select some options related to Windows Hello for business. So that is a bit confusing even though it is not very critical issue. It is a bit confusing and it can cause a lot of help desk calls etc etc. So we will see how to avoid the situation. All these are coming from the community. We are yet to hear from Microsoft on this issue. Do check out the description of the video to get more details or more updates on this issue so don't skip it let's go ahead and check this out let's have a look at one of the issues with windows 10 june patch kb5027215 there's no reports related to windows 11 on this particular issue we have seen only the reports for windows 10 devices this issue happens only if you have configured windows hello for business on your windows 10 devices and there's some workaround provided by community microsoft has not acknowledged it yet and check out the description of the video to get the latest information on this issue let's go to the next slide what is the exact issue it is basically showing a consent page for windows hello for business many it admins or users reported an issue with kb5027215 and this is nothing but a windows hello ubi style pop-up page or pop-up message many users reported an issue after installing KB5027215 not just after installing once you restart the device after installing this particular KB they will get a Windows Hello UB style pop-up screen or pop-up message and end user might get confused what to select and what not to select in that consent notice it is nothing but a biometric consent notice I have not seen Microsoft communicating about this change before and I have not seen any option to control this consent screen appearance etc from Microsoft side let me know if you have seen something like this from Microsoft some message sender messages etc from Microsoft on this let's go to the next slide to get more details on this this is one of the screenshots that user that user will get user has two options to select one is yes sign in with my face or fingerprint and the second option is no change how I sign in what is this consent all about this consent is choose if you want to keep signing in with your face or fingerprint do you want to keep storing your face or fingerprint data on this PC or not that is the actual consent if you say yes you are agreed to store the fingerprint and face data on the PC if you say no okay you are not ready to do that but from organizational perspective you have already deployed this windows hello for business policies so that means user will get prompted to enable this and user has to follow that process that is why this consent page is bit confusing for the end users now let's check what we can do until microsoft provides some more information on this issue this is provided by one of the user in reddit and you can see the options to avoid getting this windows hello for business notice you can go to registry and add an additional registry entry called bio consent notice shown time and the tricky part over here is getting a hexa value for the timestamp i think you can have any timestamp hexa value but i would recommend you to test this before implementing it in production etc and there are some tools available i don't know whether whether these tools are 100 percentage reliable or not but this is just for a quick testing purpose you can use some of these tools to get the hexa value for the timestamp etc and you need to deploy this registry fix before installing the KB article one more catch is that if you delete this registry then the prompt will again appear now let's go to the next slide there are discussions in reddit that okay whether this is a government 
requirement or not but there is no confirmation on this and if it is required from a local government then it should be applicable only for those regions or those countries not for global audience so there are some interesting discussions in reddit i will add the reddit link also into the description of the video so check that out now we are still waiting for the confirmation from microsoft on this issue if you want to have a quick fix on some of the devices that you already deployed the june patch then probably you can look into some of these options in the table you can use a powershell script and deploy it using sscm or you can use intune to deploy the powershell script or you can use intune remediation script option this is the recommended way from my side and you can use the old method like gpo settings etc using the registry wizard in the gpo now that you have seen all the details about the issue with windows hello for business and what is the workaround that is provided by community no workaround solution provided by microsoft yet do check out the video description to get the latest updates from microsoft on this hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around